Are you looking for an RV backup camera for an RV that may not have come from the factory prep for one? If so, stick around because today we're going to review a camera that will work for your RV whether it came from the factory prepped or not and is just as easy to install as if it were. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian with Jones and To Go, and today we're going to take a look at the FX11L backup camera that the folks over at FXT Technologies sent over for me to do a review on. And before we dig into this box, most of you that follow us know that I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So with that said, as we go through this review, I'm going to point out things I like about this camera and things that I think could use some improvement. So first let's talk about what this camera has to offer and then we'll get it unboxed, installed, and see how it performs. Um, first off, it comes with a 7-inch colored screen which has a 120 degree viewing angle. Um, one of the things that they really brag about this camera is it supports up to four cameras. Now, they only sent me the backup camera or the observation camera um, for this review, so if you guys want to see um, how to install other cameras, uh, you know, maybe that's a a video for a later date we'll see another nice feature about this camera is it offers auto pairing so that when you get everything installed and you pair the camera to the monitor it just does it automatically as soon as it turns on it also offers some DVR recording and it has an SD card in it that um, you can store that recording on and they say that it's an observation and a backup camera so I kind of like that feature because you know, we travel with our bikes in the bike rack on the back of our RV, and it would be nice to just be able to turn that camera on sometimes and just make sure going down the road everything's kosher. So those are just a couple of the highlighted features that this camera offers. So let's get this thing unboxed, and then we can go over some of its features and my likes and dislikes. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, first thing that comes out, obviously, is the monitor, which will be placed in your truck. And this is the camera itself. And this is what makes this easy to install if you don't have backup camera prep from the factory. You're just gonna replace one of your marker lights up top with this marker light, which will have the camera attached. So that's what's gonna make this so easy to install. And then here's a, one of the mounting brackets, which actually, this is something I may end up using is that's another reason why we don't have a backup camera on our Montana yet is because we're using RV GPS tire pressure monitoring system for the trailer. So I've got a lot of stuff up on the dashboard already and I was thinking where in the heck am I going to put another monitor? So this will actually allow me to strap this bracket to my rear view mirror. It may just be up and out of the way and that might just be the answer to my dilemma is where do I put another monitor. So that's one mounting option. Um, here is the cigarette lighter plug that plugs into the monitor in the truck. Also comes with the little tightening knobs for whatever mounting bracket you choose for the monitor. Two antennas, one for the monitor, one for the camera. Here's another mounting bracket option, which you could screw this thing down to something, maybe double sticky tape it. Uh, looks like this goes in the back of the monitor, just slides in that groove like that, and then you can adjust it to whatever height you want. And then a packet of screws. And there, here's another mounting plate for whatever uh, option you choose and it comes with a double sticky pad. Okay, so the first thing I like about this system is how easy it is to install. All you have to do is, as you can see, just replace a marker light and the camera's installed. The wiring couldn't be more straightforward, you know, with just a ground and a hot wire. Um, another thing about this camera, it's reasonably priced compared to some of the other brands. I mean, I wish I could have had another brand here to kind of do a comparison between the two. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll have some other companies reach out and um, want us to do a review of their product as well. And we'd be all too happy to do that. And as usual, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description below 
where you can order this product as well as the website for the company so you can go on there and see what other products they offer or other cameras that might go along with this system. So let's go up in the truck and take a look at some of the settings and features and my likes and dislikes. All right, guys, back up here in the truck, you can see I've got the monitor all mounted up here on the rear view mirror. Like I said, I was going to use that mount. Um, I tried to get everything done yesterday. I just ran out of time. This quaff was getting out of hand and I needed a haircut bad. So um, I'm going to finish this up today. So I decided to put it up here on the rear view mirror for now just because I'm on a real estate on my dashboard. As you guys can see, I've got the RV GPS up there. I've got TPMS for the trailer up there. And I was just running out of space for a safe field of view going down the road. So I'm going to try it up here for now and see how things work. As you can see, it's just a matter of mounting it and plugging it in. And one thing that I forgot to mention while we were doing the unboxing about the, the 12 volt adapter, you can see they were um, smart enough to put a USB port in that too. So when you use your 12 volt plug here in the truck, you're not gonna lose out on that if you wanna use that for your phone as well, because it's got a USB port in there. So that is a, a good thing that this company did. I'm gonna reposition the camera so that I can uh, focus on the screen here and show you guys how to go through some of these settings real quick. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna throw up on the screen here. I took the truck in the trailer down the road and did some recording just to show you guys what it looks like going down the road. You can use this as an observation camera. Um, the thing that I did find out was I was kind of losing signal strength and you can see here, and this is why I wanted to show you this, what happens when you lose signal strength. Um, the screen tends to freeze once in a while or pixelates. So, you know, I realize in today's day and age, everybody's going 4K and high definition. This is a high definition screen, but it's only 720p. But it's still, as you can see backing up, it's still, um, the clarity is, is good as for as using a camera for a backup camera or an observation camera. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at the some of these settings. First of all, um, as far as turning this thing on, basically you just plug it in. If, you've, if you leave it plugged in, once you power your truck up, it should come up automatically. So we'll go through some of these settings. And to activate the camera, it's just as simple as turning your turning your lights on. And as you can see, the screen comes up. So as you can see, there's no marker um, bars on here right now for distance. I have those shut off. You can turn those on and off just by hitting this button. And they'll come on and give you some of the distance bars. I'm going to turn them off just for the, the sake of going through these settings. You can see the red dot flashing up here at the top because this has... Uh, DVR recording on it, it's automatically going to start recording. To turn recording on and off, you simply just hit the OK button if you don't want to be recording anything. And you can set this into loop recording. And so if you fill up your card, it'll just start over again. So that's a really nice feature. So let's go into some of the menu options. You just hit the menu button here on the left, and you can see we have a pairing option. This camera, or this whole system is set up to do automatic pairing if you're using just the one default camera like we are now. You can go into this option if you're going to add other cameras. Um, in case I didn't mention it earlier, this supports up to four different cameras. So that's a nice feature with this system. So you can, you can just toggle over to the right to go to your other options. And when you select an option, you just hit OK to go into that option. And you can see under pictures, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, things like that. So, and you can go over here to the flip in the screen. That is a really nice option because um, the camera is facing backwards on the back of the RV, obviously. So what happens when, when it's doing that and you're going down the road, you kind of get the same effect as you do like if you're taking a selfie with your phone. It shows things in the background kind of reversed and you have to just kind of flip those. So you can flip the screen so you can see, um, you know, for instance, right here, the fence um, is on the left side of the truck and that's how I have the screen set. So let's go back into menu options. You can go into mode and like I said, you hit okay to get in there. And that just shows you how you can set up your screen if you have multiple cameras. To get out of a mode again, you just hit menu um, and you can go through camera setup, settings, 
your settings you're going to set date time things like that why is that important in a camera like this well you know you've got dvr recording so if you're recording something and say somebody rear ends you or whatever the case may be you've got an accurate um, time stamp there so um, and then you can go into play and I'll show you guys this real quick obviously because we have a DVR you're going to want to play it back so you just hit OK and once you get into that setting you hit OK again and you can select everything you recorded and you can see the things that I've recorded already and basically you can just select them by pushing the left or the right and then hit OK to select one and it'll start playing as you can see it recorded me backing up the driveway so we can just hit menu to get back out of that and you probably have to hit it a few times and then you can go into the record settings as well and um, select to turn rewrite on or off and that's what controls that looping um, and then you can format the SD card as well one thing about the SD card it supports an SD card of a minimum of 8 gigabytes to a maximum of 128 so if you put in a SD card that is either bad or not the appropriate size up here at the top the little SD card icon will show up in red um, and that just tells you something's wrong with the card so the camera has a lot of nice features so let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this camera okay let's wrap this review up like I said earlier in the video I'll give you the things that I like and I don't like about this system um, so let's start with the negative the only thing that I found that I have an issue with at this point is the fact that going down the road, I have that signal strength that kind of fades in and out. And you saw what happens when that signal strength gets weak, the picture pixelates, or it skips or freezes. Once that signal strength come back, comes back, um, that all goes away. So I'm going to play with some of my antenna positioning or maybe where I position the monitor and see if that um, clears that problem up for me. Um, on the positive stuff, there's a lot of positive about this camera. Number one, it's just a plug-and-play system. It's so simple to install. It's so simple, as you saw, to navigate through all of the options and um, get those set up. Um, another thing about this camera, because you have the option to add multiple cameras, you can also use this as a security system in your RV. You can take this monitor inside your RV um, if you've got a way to activate the the cameras, and you can simply do that with your marker lights if you want by putting a fuse in your pigtail. I don't know if you've ever seen people do that. People do that at campsites sometimes. Um, or if it's just on like a porch light or something like that, you can use it as a door camera if you mount one of those over your door. So that's another nice feature for those multiple cameras. So I think it'll be a really good camera for most people. It's economically priced at $229 versus some of the other cameras that I compared online with some of these features like the DVR are running in the $500 plus range. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money, I think this will be a good camera for you. Again, guys, thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified on the next video. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
So in order to get into your settings, you just hit the menu button and you can see you have some a pairing setting. Now that's one nice thing about this camera is it pairs automatically. So I didn't have to do anything for setup. It just automatically paired. That option is in there so that if you're going to add more cameras, you'll pair those cameras as you add those. Um, so you have settings for you just toggle over to the right. Um, you have picture settings. And once you once you select a setting, you just hit OK to go into that setting. And then you, you can see in the picture you have brightness, contrast, uh, hue, and things like that. So to get out of a setting, you just go back to your menu. Uh, you can flip over, you can flip the screen left, right, up and down. That's kind of a nice feature.